And as that chaos continues in Afghanistan, many local veterans are in a state of shock as they watch it all unfold. In your side's Olivia Steen continues our live team coverage. She spoke with one of them, and she's joining us live tonight in Tampa. Tell us what he had to say. Well, Melanie, many people are just shocked about what's going on. I spoke to that local veteran, and he says now is the time to rally together and support all of those people impacted by the Taliban's return. People in Afghanistan are in a state of panic as the Taliban's takeover sweeps the country. I've had several people tell me that they're going to they're gonna kill me. They're going to take my life. They're going to shoot me in front of my family. Howard Altman is senior editor for Military Times. He says many people are shocked at how quickly this is all unfolding after the U.S. decided to slowly remove troops from the country. I've been anticipated for days, for weeks, for months. The, the Pentagon had insisted that the, the Taliban, the Afghan forces could withstand the, the Taliban. That is obviously not the case. After seeing the U.S. spend two decades in Afghanistan in an attempt to sustain order, DJ Reyes says he's also confused. Reyes is a retired U.S. Army colonel who served over 33 years active duty. His last combat was in Afghanistan back in 2011 and 2012. Many of us know there were all kinds of plans uh, to deal with things like this. And at least in the plans that I was involved in, none of the plans involved this type of mass exodus in this kind of chaotic manner. Thousands of troops are now headed back to Kabul. Reyes says that adds to his concerns even more. Our concern, our concern for the safety of our own U.S. troops that we've had to redeploy, uh, whether they're in theater or out of theater, our U.S. civilians and coalition forces, and then the, the Afghan population that's remaining. Because we all know under that type of environment, especially with the Taliban, um, life is hard. Raya says at this point, all he can just do is pray and hope for the best. Mel? And you know, Reyes has such a unique perspective, a lifetime of military experience. Olivia, what does he think is going to be the next step? Uh, what is the U.S. doing next from his perspective? Well, yeah, of course he doesn't have that direct intel anymore, but he says it appears that the priority as of right now is to just get U.S. citizens out of there as quickly and safely as possible. All right, Olivia Stain, live for us in Tampa tonight. Olivia, thank you.